guys and welcome back to these topics videos <laughs> um, today it's gonna be a heavy one no uh, today we're gonna look into the collective feeling of depression so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna shift into that collective feeling I'm gonna be that and then afterwards I will bring some other perception of it It feels as if life has no meaning any longer. It feels as if I have this long list of things I have to do, but I can't get myself to do it. It is a struggle just to get out of my bed. It is a struggle just to taking the milk in my coffee. What is worst about that is that the voices in my head is constantly telling me how much that I should be doing and how much that I should have have done or or blaming me for not being able to all the time the only thing I feel really rest in is when I sleep because when I sleep I can just shut off you know it is as if it makes no like a life makes no sense anymore I, I, I my head is running as a non-stop overload all the time but but there's not one thought there's constructive enough to actually give me get me out of this mode of constant no <laughs> sometimes i want to just shake myself to do something crazy just in order of getting out of this space it is as if i am in a bubble that is impossible to brush, brush, open up. People say, yeah, you can just get out of bed, just look at the sun. Therapist says the same thing over and over. It even, they can even measure in my blood that I am depressed. But it is as if my light inside is just shut off. I try to function going out with friends, trying to smile, trying to be grateful for their stories, for their lives. I am blaming myself at the same time because there is a part of me that feels jealous, that they are free, that they are out of that bubble. But I wish them the best in the world, but I can't get out. It is as if I am in, in an invisible prison and nobody sees it. Only do I hear that I am negative. Only do I hear that I should pull myself together, get out there, but I cannot. Okay, <laughs> out of that energy. So often what happens with people when they get depressed is that they through a longer period have not listened to themselves. They through a longer period have suppressed emotions, own needs, own values, self-esteem and etc so they kind of hit this wall the wall is a breaking point where the system just shut off it cannot keep doing that it cannot keep ignoring <laughs> what you did not give yourself space to look into or did not listen to within oneself what happens in the beginning when we we meet these breakdowns we meet these walls is that all the voices all the feelings, all the shitload that you did not give space before it's coming at you high speed massively. And it needs space, it needs to be seen, heard, allowed. What is the backfire part is that when you are in that state, you are blaming yourself for being in that state because you know that you should be, you should do, there is expected of you. So there is this whole part of you that believe that you are not allowed to be exactly where you were, exactly where you are. So what we can do as a person who has a depression is to be with yourself. Step number one is to be in a state of allowance. Step number two is to listen to the voices in your head and ask yourself, where does this come from? Step number three is going back to being in a state of allowance. <laughs> fully accepting where you are 
and gradually working on in placing small bits in your daily life that makes you happy. So it means if you are feeling depressed 23 hours of the day, but you for one hour have this feeling of nature and sun is really nice, then you improve, then you create space of light inside of yourself. But it's so important to not neglect yourself for where you are in the state that you're in. If you are parents, friends, family, whatever, to somebody with a depression, we cannot help them from the outside by pushing them. They are already pushing themselves. Some people who step into a depression give up and it becomes a different thing. It becomes this, um, I don't remember that name. <laughs> I will. Not important. So, so then we can feel the urge to want to pull them out of there. Like just to get them out, get them fresh air. Come on, open the doors. <laughs> and yes, these people do need fresh air. They do need healthy food. It will help them. But universal law says you cannot get somebody to do something unless they want to themselves so sometimes they have to fall so deep that it's their own free will and choice to stand up for themselves uh, once again if you are the guy with the impression depression impression of depression <laughs> what really helps your system is to hire your vibration so if you do get out and get fresh air just once a day and you do look into your eating habits what you put inside of yourself is always a vibrationally match to where you want to be or where you are look into how you are structuring your day i know this sounds contradictory because i said you just had to say <laughs> to surrender accept everything but if you are in the depression and feel locked and you want to bring awareness into this moment, look into how you're feeding your body system. To bring a personal angle on this one, I've been through a lot of uh, periods in life where I really was on rock bottom. And I've been suicidal and, and uh, think there was no day tomorrow, right? But what always made me stand up the next day was that I would always move my body in one form or another. I would always attempt to eat as healthy as I was able to in that state of life. Sometimes that meant that I could only eat yogurt because that was where I was in life. But I tried to eat as light for my body as possible and to connect with nature. Because in nature, our thought patterns slows down and it actually provide a space to get time to listen to what is inside. So guys, I hope that this video can help you a bit on where you're standing or, and I would love for you to let me know how it feels to you. And I also want you to know that you are, you are accepted. You are part of this creation the depression or the burnout it is part of your journey in order of becoming who you want to be you need to realize who you didn't want to be and whatever you did before in your life were not in alignment with who you truly are and what you truly desire in life so when you are depressed ask yourself what do i truly desire what what would make me smile? And where did I come from? What have I not listened to? And if I could just let go of depression, if I could let go of my past and be completely free in the future, whatever that means, whatever that holds, which character would I like to be? So allow yourself to open your perceptions. And I know that this might not be easy when you're in the box. <laughs> at all but know that this is a possibility and that everything is ever flowing ever floating okay everything is ever changing we were never meant to come here and be only one thing you are ever changing 
you are not depression. I just spoke for depression. Depression is a collective energy. It's not who you are. You are a person and you are loved and you are valued. So thank you guys and I will talk with you soon. Namaste.